damn sure I close the doors to the barn. I always do. Bella wasn't here this morning. I tell you, it was those sons of bitches. It's for weeks now that we've been hearing rumors about them rustling cattle. Fortunately, I'm a light sleeper. I heard a commotion and went to check on the cows. Did you come down right away? Yes, uh, I took the rifle and went out. But by the time I got to the barn, they were already gone. They must have noticed the lights go on in the house. These people need to be taught a lesson. They must be taught to think twice before breaking into other people's houses. They should consider themselves lucky not to have caught a bullet to the head. <laughs> Maybe it doesn't have to go that far, but I agree. They're absolute assholes. And this they didn't take them all. What else would I have to keep me busy if I didn't have my cows? Have you already reported the theft? What the fuck do I tell the cops? They wouldn't find her anyway. What a shit time we're going through. There's a way for them with the rifle point. Rest assured that if they come back, they'll get what's coming to them. Fuck! determination. Can anyone catch hey, up to you? this unexpected front-runner? Everything With the okay? Line sight, Lopez and Artex are in a league of their own. What does he want They're now? They're pulling away from the rest of the field. Cliff, leaving their go and see what's up top. with him. The crowd is going wild oh, as God. the horses sprint towards the finish line, their hearts pounding with anticipation. And there it is. Lopez and Artex cross the finish line in a Excuse stunning me. display of dominance. Excuse me? Are you okay? What an extraordinary I'm race we ruined. went today. Excuse me? It's none of your business. Do your job and go get me that drink. As the other horses and jockeys complete the race, let's applaud their incredible effort right and sportsmanship. This race Nora, will be remembered so as the show finished. Battle of skill, um, no. There should still be some left. You can take it. You again for another thrilling horse race. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining us for this exhilarating horse race at Riverside. We hope you enjoyed the excitement and drama that unfolded on the track. It's been a pleasure to be your commentator for this race. Now, it's time to hand over the reins and switch gears as we make way for the next program. Stay tuned to this channel for more thrilling sports Cliff, events. Cliff, come take a look at this. Coming. Content. Until next time, I'm signing off. This is Patrick Weston, wishing you a wonderful day ahead. Take care and enjoy the rest of your viewing experience. I don't like that guy. You never like anyone. I thought you were used to our kind of clientele by now. Come on, let it go. Instead, look at what I found. Oh, that magazine again. <laughs> Which villa have you fallen in love with this time? No, no. No villas. <laughs> You'll love these two. Trust me. The first one is very secluded and a bit out of town. But it has a big garden and the most beautiful fireplace. It probably just needs a little remodeling. Well, that sure looks like a villa to me. <laughs> I'm on. This other one, on the other hand, is definitely an apartment. It looks quite nice and it's rather close to the center. It's even cheaper. The only downside is that it faces the street so it could get a bit noisy. Hmm. Let me think. Well, that street won't be a bother if it allows us to keep some extra cash in our pockets. There should also be that famous art school nearby. I could start studying again. I must say, I really don't mind the idea. So, you finally set your mind on leaving. I'm sad to be leaving everything you've built here, but Hank, you know, you've been dreaming about this for a long time now. Uh, I'm a retired <coughs> old man. If you leave, where will I spend my afternoons? <laughs> Come on, Hank, you know me all too well. We need a change of scenery. Yeah, anyway, this isn't the Hello? only on the road. I'm not saying you shouldn't chase your dreams. I'm just saying, I'm gonna miss you guys. This place means a hell of a lot to the few people Can still you around hear me? here. 
Sorry to interrupt your fucking lame-ass shit family reunion. My throat is dry. Do any of you intend to carry out your job? Hey, you piece of shit! Can't you see I'm talking here? Cliff, why do you always let people treat you like this? Shut up, old man! All right, Hank, leave it alone. After all, I am supposed to be working. I'll be right there. That guy is too on edge. It would have been better to say something to him. He's drunk. It's better not to indulge him. <laughs> Another glass. I'm sure you haven't had enough to drink. Another glass. Right, right. Shall I leave you the bottle? Is your ass feeling heavy today? Of course I don't want you to leave me the bottle. No, I'll call you back if I want more. All right, whatever. Hi. Hey, Mandy. I didn't know you were back in town. A little break after a month of filming. I really needed it. And soon you will be seeing me on the big screen. What are they making you do this time? Another respectful scene as an extra? Hank, you're still the same as always. I actually secured a leading role this season and I'm still questioning my talent every time I set foot in here. <laughs> oh, Mandy, don't feel too bad. He's only saying that because he'd like you around here more often. I know. He's my number one fan, really. And the only one you have, too. You wish. Recently, I've been getting too much unwanted attention. Anyway, I couldn't leave town without stopping by to say hello. Cliff, can you make me a burger? I'm starving. Sure. Coming right up. I've already organized everything in the freezer. Who wants a hamburger with just meat? I'll get it from the freezer. Those buns, on the other hand, are on the shelf to the right. Film. I'm playing the role of a victim taken hostage by a gang of criminals. Wow, that's nice. Hmm, are you sure this isn't a porno flick? I would gladly watch that one. <laughs> Hank, somehow I had no doubt you would, Hank. Eh, fooey. Anyway, I'm very happy things are looking up for you. So they're letting anyone become an actor nowadays. With that awful voice. Hey, easy. You're free to leave if we're bothering you. I ain't done drinking. Would you look at this asshole? S sorry, I was caught up by my own excitement. I didn't mean to disturb anyone. Here you go, movie star. I'm thirsty. Mm, thank you. <laughs> oh my god! I'm... I'm so sorry. I'll get you something to dry yourself right away. What the fuck are you doing? Why don't you just watch where you're walking, you bitch? Fuck me! Calm down. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Really? I'm supposed to calm down? Why don't you go fuck yourself? That guy is such an asshole. I don't understand how you can stand having people like that in here. <sighs> Unfortunately, assholes like him help keep the lights on around here. 
I have animals that are more polite than that guy. Plus, can you get me a cheeseburger and a beer? Then I'll try to stop by the sheriff's office to report those damn cattle wrestlers. Sure. Why? What happened? You're already here. Is it really necessary to continue? You are free to go. No one is forcing you to stay here. It didn't last you long, eh, Mandy? You can't imagine how hungry I was. Take care, Mandy. We hope to see you again before we close shop here for good. Bye, Mandy. See you, guys. See you tomorrow, Hank. Bye, Hank. Are we doing the right thing? This place is filled with memories. It seems like yesterday. You used to come all the way here in that old wreck of a car. And you ordered. <laughs> Two pancakes. A coffee and your phone number. Yes. Every morning at the same And the phone number was always wrong. It was just my luck that your father decided to hire me. Though, he wasn't very happy when he found out we were dating. Yeah. Nora, please. Can I go now? You don't have to leave. There's still people to help here. Stay with me for a little while longer. I can't, not anymore. Can a place where we are not together even be special? Our world will You're fall apart if you leave me, my love. I, I have to leave. Small diner frequently seen by residents of the area. According to authorities, a man named Frank Smith, who was visibly I've lost intoxicated, entered the diner and started causing trouble. Cliff! 